Okay, already I'm going back to the hoopty barn. All right, we made it back into the hoopty barn, and yeah, she's sure enough warm. All right, no, it's not warm. Anyhow, so we left off last time. I was getting rid of all that wiring and all that uh, old stuff off of there and we got that part done and uh, got the wiring out of the dash we'll go over here and take a look uh. so look in there that dude it's about it's about cleaned out I didn't take every little, I didn't take all the gauges out and stuff because I wanted to kind of have the original look. A um, couple things I think I'm going to have to do different. <clears throat> Get this flipped up here real quick. So, you look at the instrument panel and stuff so right here is our headlights and then it's got panel lights I guess that's for these here all this and then your wipers now that I left these are the connections for wiper motor it actually has electric motor for the wipers that kind of surprised me I figured it'd be the old vacuum wiper system or something but anyhow so because of these old switches and stuff, I'm not really sure if they're even any good. I'm not going to spend money on them. So what I'm probably going to do, you might laugh at me, but it, yeah, I figure that's kind of what this channel's for anyway. So right here is where the old keyed ignition was. And because I've got the keyed ignition on the steering column now, I'm going to put my headlight switch right there so I can do that. Now this is old cigarette lighter, so I'm not sure. I may or may not leave that. We'll see how it works out. And uh, as far as the heating and cooling up in here, since I've got all this out, I might as well figure that out while I'm at it. And... Here a while back, I bought a really cool little under dash heater. Uh, I'm going to show you that. Uh, I didn't know what I was going to use it for, but I saw it and couldn't resist and got a fair price for it. But this is it I don't know what it came out of but it's got these little doors that open up on here you can see your heater core in there you can see that it holds 16 pounds of pressure with a little compressor got the electric fan in here now it's a six volt fan so <clears throat> I'm gonna have to reduce my power to that I'm not sure how all that works yet but I'll look it up figure it out and uh, so right here goes to your ductwork too and right here is your in and out for your water lines so I'm thinking I'm gonna put this under the dash I'll hook up this little bit of duct work here for a defrost going up in there I'll probably have to build my own duct work which I don't know I got a cardboard box or something I don't know we'll figure out something or another that other duct work it just kind of started falling apart when I was taking it out and well 
it's pretty well trashed. It's laying right there in the heat. So, anywho, where do I get started? Where indeed do I get started? I got to get this wiring going. I get that heat figured out. So, also got to figure out where brakes. I know it's got to go up here somewhere because it's got to go to the pedal. So, I'm going to start lining some stuff up and probably start measuring out, cutting some holes to try and figure out where all this stuff's going to go. So, I'll be back in a bit with a update all right just real quick one thing i did happen to notice before i get too far on this thing before i start putting this together and i was looking at this i got some wires that are i don't know it looks like my scott to them or whatever so before i do anything on trying to hook this up i'm gonna chase down wires find out where these dudes go to and there's the black one that goes to that and we're going to get that fixed before we go any further so we'll get that fixed and we'll be back so here's a little here's a little fun fact for you so a lot of you might know this a lot of you might not but putting these uh little shrink uh connector things on here little heat shrink wrap on them and uh It's got to be above freezing for this butane to actually light. Been shaking on it, shaking on it, shaking on it. Finally got it warmed up enough for this dude to light just from keeping it in my hand and getting the body heat to it and getting it above freezing. So, yay, fun. Just in case anyone's wondering how cold it really is in here. I just came over here to my workbench to get a pencil and apparently I got snow blowing in from up there somewhere because this is on the back of my workbench, my lights, all across the back of my bench, behind my grinder, I got behind my drill press, on top of my storage box. It's sure enough cold. So, not a whole lot of progress to show you, but probably about what we're going to get done today because it's cold in here. Even with my little wannabe heater, it's still cold in here. And my fingers are just yuck. Anyway, so we got all that cleaned out better. Got some of the unnecessary stuff pulled out of there. Still not sure if I'm going to be able to use these, so I haven't pulled this out yet. I'd like to use that because that's the original heat controls. If I can use them at all, I will. Um, if not, I'll use the other ones I've got. But, let me show you here. Move this out of the way. <clears throat> So, we got our fuse block and our uh, wiring harness in here. Got these wires put on here. Um, and I got stuff for my voltage regulator and oh, you know. What's that? Uh, brake. That's for the. Let me know if I'm low on fluid or whatever. Um, anyway, this goes to my headlights, my solenoid right here, but I'll just have to bring that back and mount that solenoid up here on the firewall somewhere. Because all of this wiring is going to go under here under and through the frame i'm going to hide it down under the cave frame maybe inside 
here somehow under the radiator support or something but I'm gonna hide all of this down here because oh my headlights marker lights all that and the other side but because I'm wanting to build that front clip to be a flip nose so anyway I got that figured out and uh, got our harness in here I know it looks like spaghetti but we well, got a pretty good start I mean this goes to the rear tail lights and stuff this one here goes up to my dome light and a little door switch for the dome light I think I might go ahead and put that in right up here where they've got a plate where one would go. They've got one on the other door, but not on this one. I don't know why they don't have a courtesy light switch here, but they don't. So anyway, I've got everything up here where I can get to it and start hooking things up in the dash. Of course, I'll have to be laying on my back doing that. And what we was talking about. Uh, maybe building something for my defrost. Well, look at what I found right here. I found the pieces that I kept off of my other car. So, let me get this. I think I can find a way to make that work. And just hook right into there and we'll have defrost and I don't even got to build out a cardboard yeah so anyway it's a little bit of progress oh and I'm all right with it I actually got out here and did something as cold as it is and uh, anyway I guess where we're going to leave it today. So, y'all know the drill. Like, subscribe, hit the little notification bell, and share it with a friend. And leave me a comment. Tell me if I'm an idiot. Well, don't tell me if I'm an idiot. We all know. Anyway, but uh, <laughs> like I say, man, you keep watching, I'll keep working, and I'll see you next time.